Hello everyone, this is Tashi Sam. I'm here with a uh, test that I'm doing in Space Engineers um, with pistons. So I'm really interested in the possibility of connecting multiple pistons together for uh, mainly two reasons. The first reason being that the device that is connected on either end of the pistons, if I want to do like a uh, uh, a mirror, um, a reflection build in creative. If I want to build like a big shield up, I can't do, I can't build two at once using the, uh, the mirror um, function, whatever you call that, I can't remember. Um, but I can't do that if they're not connected. Right, so I'd have to build one and then build the other because they're not technically on the same grid. So if I use merge blocks, merge the two pistons together, then I have a single grid on my moving piece and I would be able to build uh, what was going to be a large blast shield or what have you, roof, anything. Okay, so the other reason I wanted to connect merge blocks was just the... Uh, uh, you know, more more of a um, abstract idea of, you know, connecting multiple pistons together for better strength. You know, m if one gets destroyed, then the other, you're still going to be connected together. So, you know, I was experimenting with that. I have a recording, uh, I have a, a, a clip on Twitch um, that maybe I'll upload to YouTube at some point where I have a working, I have two pistons merged together, two different grids moving as far as I remember just fine together. So, and I more or less did exactly what I set up here now and didn't change any of the um, properties of the of the gr of the uh, pistons. I just left them with the with their original settings, okay? So safety lock speed, I'm not even sure what that's all about. Velocity, I left the same. Distances, I left the same. So I didn't mess with that on this particular test. And the one that I got to work, I can't remember if I changed any of that or not. So anyways, um, but this was essentially what I did, is just put the two merge blocks opposing and closed up the one piston to bring them together and then I put the two pistons in the same group and used them to uh, move together. So I'll just save before I do this. And so let's try merging them together. Now I expect this to go completely haywire and uh, basically destroy the ship. So let's see what happens as this connects. And, hey, look at that. Okay, so last time I tried this, it went pretty badly, a lot of carnage. And um, this time, it seems fine. So I don't know if it's how I set up the grid or if I didn't s mess with the safety lock or any of the other settings. So, you know, I want these, I want these pistons moving to make sure one's not reversed the other way. I'll save it again. Uh, and, yeah, okay, great. Um, so it's a little bit tricky to figure out if they're both going in the same direction. I suppose like, I can check the velocity. Um, piston. So where's my velocity? See if one is negative. So I got negative on the first one and negative on the second one. So I think that's should be fine. I'll just make a group. Uh, put these together. Uh, okay. So that's saved. Now I believe both of these are still on. Okay, they're both on, they're both going in the same direction. I didn't change any of the other settings. And they seem to be merged, which is cool. I know that I can fly in 
and remove those merge blocks, but I don't think that would matter at this point. Um, I haven't tried turning the ship into a station, but I don't think that's the right way to go about it because essentially you're just you're just trying to stick a, a, a bad grid to an immovable object being a station. So if you're going to have issues, being a station is a, does not shouldn't be the solution in my opinion. All right, so I'm going to try to move these as a group. This is kind of interesting because I expected this to fail uh, groups. Here we go. So I just want to extend and retract. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Again, I'm expecting carnage, but let's see. Hey, look at that. Not too bad. You know, I have countless... <laughs> How many times I, I've done this where I've, eh, it's still going, uh, where I've changed the safety lock speed and I've, you know, made them sort of stop uh, at different points, uh, you know, for maximum and minimum positions. And this appears to work just fine. So I'm going to consider this a success. Uh, the last week, you know, um, just a four or five days ago, uh, Keen had a, s a update, you know, with you know improved pis piston and rotor performance. So I don't know if that's why this seems to be working, or if it's just because I got lucky and didn't change any settings. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take that as a win. I mean, uh, I was expecting to make a video about why aren't pistons not working, but I guess I uh, I got lucky this time. <laughs> So maybe I'll try experimenting some more, and um, if I have any more developments, I'll try making another video. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.